Welcome back, writers. It's good to see you again. Um, we are now at the point where we get to apply what we have learned about using commas in lists and to combine repetitive sentences. So I hope you had fun creating that imitation and celebrating it in some way. Maybe some of you did the sidewalk chalk idea. Um, today though, I am going to invite you to uh, get creative and do some writing. We talked a little bit about that in the last lesson about how I'm hoping you're doing lots of writing. So today for the apply, I want to challenge you to um, try to write a story or a comic strip, some kind of graphic novel using some of your two or three word sentences. So go back to the very beginning and that list of the two and three word sentences that we created in that five minute chunk of time and use a couple of those inside a story or a comic strip and um, with those, see where, where you can list, where you can add a list or two using commas to separate those. I would love to see what some of you guys come up with. So please take pictures, send them to your teachers, share them with some friends, um, and maybe they'll make their way to me in, in some way. I would love to see what you guys are doing and just have fun with writing. I know my daughter, Emery, in third grade, loves to write graphic novels. Um, and so if you have a chance to go online and check out Jarrett Lerner, L-E-R-N-E-R, -E -E he has a site um, with a whole bunch of activities for home all about writing graphic novels. And um, he's got some writing ideas and some cartooning ideas. And I know that we have really enjoyed using his resources um, while we're at home as well to spark our creativity when writing comics. So have fun with your list and applying those lists into some kind of creative writing.